Oh, hi everybody. Guess who's trying to get ready for dinner and just knocked her tea? <laughs> all over the floor. Uh, just after I had cleaned it all. Oh, well. Oh, hi everybody. This is Dear Mama Sal, and the broadcast viewers were busy helping me um, with my turkey. Now, I was busy telling them that I had a, a six point five six pound turkey to cook um i've actually found out that it was a 6.56 kilo turkey which makes it a whole lot bigger than the one i was talking about but luckily i think i've just about got enough time to cook it so the broadcast people were suggesting for those of you who might be doing a turkey to inject it with a bovril or maggie or some sort of bouillon um whatever you might have and then some Worcestershire sauce and also some butter. But this is a butter bowl turkey, so it's already injected. So what I'm going to do is to put this over the top of it. I'm not going to put the butter on it yet. I'm going to wait, wait and put that on um, towards the end. Okay. So that's what it looks like. Pretty darn good, doesn't it? I decided I'd put it all over the top. Oh, missed a bit there. Anywhere where I could see skin. And now I'm going to have it in. And I'm going to convection roast it. My oven actually gives me the option of convection roasting. Which is pretty good. I can have convection bake or convection roast. What's the difference? No idea. Now I must say that one of the things I love about my oven is I have room to put it in. When it's closer to ready, I'll turn it sideways so that I can use some more space there for <laughs> vegetables and things. Okay, so now then we're gonna put the light on the lower because I like to watch it. I've got one of these ovens that basically is rocket science, but never mind. All right, so there we go. The time is 3.35, and we reckon it is just the right amount of time. <laughs> Saved by the skin of my teeth. Thank goodness. All right, now the next thing I'm doing is cooking up the giblets that are inside the turkey with some bovril stock. Um, and that's just so that I have a really good base for the gravy. So that's going to just cook up in the next half hour or so. And then I will drain off the liquid, which is what I want, and throw away the rest of it. The other thing that I wanted to tell you, what I'm inclined to do, is actually work out exactly when I'm doing what. So, <laughs> as you can see, I'm now at the stuff the turkey and put it in to cook. I've done that one, so we can... Yeah. Okay, um, oh, just so that you know, this is <laughs> this is just one of my kitchen cupboard doors, and I just keep it inside so I can have it open like that <laughs> and just see what's next. So, now I'm going to start preparing the vegetables. Now, the first thing I would recommend, because it works really well, is to start getting out various dishes and, for example, saying, okay... I want to have that in there. I obviously need a dish for the sweet potato. And uh, I've got some peas that I'm cooking. I've got the cranberry sauce already done, so forth. So that you know that you've got everything that you need. So that's what I'm gonna do next. Things going, it's time to start working on the vegetables. I'm starting with the Brussels sprouts. And in case any of you don't know how to cook Brussels sprouts, um, I just take off the outside leaves and then I cut about a quarter of the way down like this. It helps them cook well. And then I'm just going to pop them in the pan that I'm going to cook them in. Now I'm working out what pans I need. Uh, I have a request to do cauliflower cheese, so, and actually cauliflower and broccoli cheese, so I'm going to multitask this. And the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to put the 
I quartered the cauliflower there. By the way, I like to leave a couple of leaves on because it gives it a really great colour when it's cooked. And then I'm going to put the top of my steamer in and I'm about to cut up my broccoli and let it cook at the same time. So there's the broccoli and I'm just going to put a lid on it. And actually the broccoli will be done before the cauliflower probably. I'm not going to overcook them because I will cook them to some degree when I put the sauce over them and then put them back in the oven. Put the sweet potato in with some oil and some um, seasoning for chicken and stuff. This is really great. Love this stuff. I haven't put too much in it, just a little bit to give it some taste. And now I'm going to put them in the halogen. Now what I'm starting to do is to pre-cook some of the meal. And things like roasted anything, you can pre-cook, let it cool, and then just before you serve it, add a bit more oil and roast it up again. So that's what I'm doing here. So I've got it set in the halogen at top speed, 400. And I've got it on at the moment for about 15 minutes. And then I'll turn them over. Okay, this is my stuffing ready to go and I'm just going to add some the hard way stock or the easy stuff. way. So I took some Bovril um, concentrated chicken stock and just poured it over the top. I'm now going to add some liquid to it and let it all soak in, mix it up well and then that'll be ready to start roasting soon. Well, just by putting the liquid in there, I can tell you right now that I won't be having too much of that because the number one smell coming out of there is a wonderful smell of garlic. So, <laughs> not so much for me, I'm afraid. So I've just drained the stock off the giblets that I have been having slow cooking, so that'll be really tasty stuff. How does that look? I'm still waiting for those legs to kick out on my little chicken. So, but I've got another, at least an hour, I would think. So that's fine. So now I'm going to start doing the final run in on the vegetables. And the first thing I'm going to do is put the broccoli and the cauliflower into a thing. And then I'm going to make a cheese sauce and put it over the top. Well, I've actually got some clean clothes on now. <laughs> and by the way, Pat, I've got my dear Mama Sal apron on. Whoops. There we go. That looks a bit lopsided, but you get the idea. So I'm now going to keep myself clean. Thank you so much. I really want to oh, really want to let you know I appreciated the apron. And just before I lay the table, I thought I'd show you what Sal and Sil did this evening. Actually, I did them during the week, but aren't they cute? I really must remember next year to get some deep red as well. They would have looked even better with some deep red ones, but at least it looks a little in the season. Okay. Everybody, so then the little chicken flipped its feet, flipped its feet in the air to tell me everything was ready, and that's what my bird looked and like. Nothing. Come over here. And I want to tell you something. Say hi, Eva. Oh, you can do that. And Wade's come to carve it for us. Thank you, Wade. And doesn't that look like one heck of a good bread? Can you take a shot from this end? The beautifully brown wing thing. I the beautifully brown what? Wing thing. See? Ring thing. The wing thing, that thing. The wing thing? Yeah.